Okay, we at day four. And I got some more equipment. This time I got um resistant um a resistant tool to help with the stretching. Yeah. I went Christmas shopping and I up in Kmart and found found one of these things. I also seen the bike, but I didn't get the bike. And it was on sale. I wanted to get the bike, but I had too many packages. So this is the resistance. Uh, I guess everybody um, know what this is. You put your feet in this part right here. I never really used it. I've tried it a little bit in the store. So this is day four of our um, workout. I'm working with a lot of Everlast equipment, but this um, this right here, this resistance thing, ooh, this might help with the midsection. I got a little off balance there. This might help with the midsection. I got my own um, back brace on because, you know, if you got back problems, you need to use it. But I got this. I'm not going to work out much with it because I've been carrying a lot of bags. But this will probably help with the midsection a whole lot. Getting one of these here. You need to have this equipment right here in order to do this because you're not going to be able to get this resistance without it. <clears throat> okay, so we got one of these we're going to be working out on. We also got, let's see what else we have. Put this on this side. I bought a mat, one of the yoga mats. Yesterday I showed, um, I, I got down on the carpet a little bit. We didn't do much, but um, Bear with me. So this is the yoga mat. This is by Lotus. So any of you name brands that you know have fitness equipment, um, if you want to sponsor me with some equipment for my workout little program that I got started here, hit me up. Leave your information in my my uh, comment section, or or you could contact me at theduchess at gmail dot com. So um, here's my little rug. I like this little design rug. Yeah, see that rug? I was down on that yesterday, but for the workouts. I'm gonna put this on top of the rug. This is a little yogurt mat. And we're gonna get it together. Ugh. So we can get down here. Ooh! Like I said, this is not for the athletic person. <laughs> this is not for the athletes. That's already athletic and in shape. This is for us older people. This is for us 
overweight and um, older people. So I'm gonna take this right here, this resistance thing, and um, maybe that'll help me get started on the floor a little bit because I don't know what I was gonna do on this floor. Oh, it helps you do sit-ups a little bit. It helps you come up. <clears throat> Cause I can't do sit-ups by myself. So this thing is good. <laughs> Yeah, I can't see my feet, but my feet is stretched out in the thing, right? And it helps you kind of like, you got something to brace up to come up on to help you lift your body off the floor. <sighs> so we're at day four and we're doing some sit-ups already. <clears throat> We had day four, we doing some sit-ups. <laughs> I don't wanna be born and doing the same thing every day, but the, you know, punching a heavy bag is um, gonna be part of the routine, you know, to exert some sweat. But this right here, is for the midsection. I hope, you know, I'm doing these videos in hopes that I would encourage other people, you know, to get themselves in shape and see me all out of shape. You know, I'm over 200 pounds and, you know, I want y'all to see my progress. I want y'all to see I put in the hard work. You see the little equipment that I bought, you know what I'm saying? That helped me, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to mimic what I'm doing, this resistance thing is a good thing because if you put your hand on here backwards, it really kind of like brings you forward and you pull it back and you actually doing your sit-ups. I'm doing more sit-ups than I would be able to do without this. This thing is helping me do sit-ups. And after we do this, we're gonna get on the um on the everlast on the heavy on the heavy bag. So this is like kind of like my it's like kind of like my Christmas present to myself. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think the other way is better. So you could do curls. You could do sit-ups, or you could just sit on your butt and do curls for your arms, for your for your muscles and stuff, like you lifting weights or something. Ooh. Ooh. So you don't even need no weights because this resistance right here is like, you know, you curling dumbbells. And, and this cushion right here is soft, so it's not like the dumbbell is real hard for a female, you know? For female, soft hands, it's better to get this. So we're gonna get off the floor with this because we don't want to waste too much time on the floor, okay? And maybe one day we'll just do all sit-ups the whole, the whole hour, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll get down on the floor and um and and get a something going we only at day four if your knees do leg lifts you see i can't even hardly lift my leg there huh uh. This is not a fast process. Um, this is a slow process and we learn as we go. So <laughs> if I look funny, if I look amateur, if I look like I don't know what I'm doing a little bit, that's true. <laughs> but we are doing something because I feel perspiration right now.
So, I'm going to roll this up because we don't want to keep this on the floor and just be walking over it and getting it dirty. We're going to put this equipment, your little equipment to the side. Remember, equipment and even with any like job of profession that you proclaim to be, you have to dress the part, you know, for it to work out for you. Okay? So let's get back to our boxing. Hopefully my audio is not off. Got a wedgie. Couldn't even hardly get off the floor. Well, we're going to see where we're going to be in a few months down. If we, you know, keep this thing going on every day till like June. Four to six months from now. And December is just, you know, we, we getting our, you know, equipment. We getting our stuff that we gonna be using. You know what I'm saying? And we testing it out. This is the trial run, right? And like I said, you don't need much but a corner. When you're in your house, you don't you don't need much for this. Um, this is the Everlast Power Cord. They're not paying me. <laughs> You know, to, you know, promote their brand. They probably don't need me to promote their brand, but... Let me see. Let me just get the camera back right since I moved the camera. Is that good? I just got to turn it up a little bit. Because once I get my hands in these gloves, I can't move it again. Again, I'm going to be... I don't want to play around too much and lose the recording. See, is that good? I think I bring it up a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. That's good right there. Okay. Uh. So usually we just punch the bag a little bit. These are good gloves. You, just, you can tell that they're just going to last forever. Greatness is within. Okay. So we, we usually do a little celebrity gossip, what's going on in the news. Two days ago, like on my second video, I had lost the audio, so hopefully I still got the audio. In my audio, y'all can still hear me, hopefully, so... I got this kind of like karate suit, so um, it'll be my, you know, my uniform, you know what I'm saying, for my workout, so I don't have to be like trying to style every day just to do my workout, you know, because I'm going to be working out too many, too many days, more days than I have workout clothes, you know what I'm saying, so Unless they start sending me some workout clothes, that's what they can do. Everlast, y'all can send me some workout clothes. Or any other name brand for that matter. If you want me to promote your, um... Promote your, your fitness uh, gear, just hit me up. Leave a comment or theduchess at gmail.com. Or, you know... 
the Dutch is the way you see me spell it here. The way my name is spelled at gmail.com. That's my email, okay? So anybody want to sponsor this old lady workout and help us um, achieve success because once I go from I started at like 220. Once I go from 220 all the way down to 135, y'all gonna be thinking it's a gimmick and y'all gonna be amazed and you know what I'm saying? And I'm hoping to get it done sooner than later. And basically I'm just punching the bag to exert energy to sweat. You know, I'm just trying to make myself sweat off that um some fat, you know. Because what I usually do is I, I fast and I do a starvation thing, but what happens with that is that, you know, you'd be losing water and all that stuff like that, but you don't really be losing fat, like if you, you know, do a little exercise, a little workout, you know what I'm saying? So, we swinging our arms, we twisting our bodies a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be working our midsection uh, with the resistance um, trainer. You know, we're going to be getting down on the floor. I bought a nice little piece of carpet just for it. And then uh, a yogurt mat to put on top of that. You know, because if you're walking on a little rug and, you know, you don't want to lay down on top of the rug and be resting your, 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 your head, your head be getting dirty. So, I put a yogurt mat. After you finish with your workout on the floor, you just roll that thing up and put it away. And then when you're ready to work out again, you know, you lay it back down. And just work out barefoot, you know. Don't put no, no shoes, no sneakers or nothing like that on. And then this way, your mat won't be grimy, you know. I'm quite sure there's other channels and people that you can look at that's got a more vigorous thing going on as, you know, real athletic with their stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they real, they do, you know, exerting a lot of energy, but you know, you gotta start out slow so that, you know, you don't do too much in one day and don't want to come back and do some more tomorrow. So if you do a little bit every day, your mind is already uh, uh, set knowing that this is what we got to do every day. Your mind is looking forward to it. You know, your conscience is already like uh, working out every day is part of our, you know, routine, daily routine and um, what we do every day. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make... The, the best of your 24 hours, and at least out of 24 hours, you could say one hour of the day I worked out. You know what I'm saying? I did a little workout. And if you do it too vigorous, if you work out too hard, you might not, you know, you might not want to do nothing tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really stressing it like that. I'm just taking it easy and. I'm not eating like that. Like, I haven't eaten today. We just picked up a salad, you know. I just bought a salad. So, after I finish working out, and I'm going to take a nice hot steamy bath. A, a nice hot steamy bath and you sweat in the tub is good, too. It'll get some of that water out your body and steam your body. You know what I'm saying? So, and then after that, I'll have my little salad and lay down and relax. Um... I'm not going nowhere for Christmas, staying in the house. I got my granddaughter here. She got her toys in the back and everything like that. So maybe Christmas to everybody, but that's not going to stop me from doing my workout. That is Christmas. That's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? And I know some people probably got tables full of food and their mama or their grandmama's cooking or whatever. Or they in there, y'all in there cooking or whatever the situation is. It's the holidays, eat and be merry, but And you can eat all you want, but you got to work out probably, you know, 10 times as hard 
when you put a, a, a heavy meal in your body. So go ahead and eat, but you're going to be the one that's going to have to work out extra hard. Instead of doing one hour, you know, you might have to do six hours to get that, um, that food off of you. So I'm stopping with the meat, red meat all together. I'll be eating like the fruit cocktails that come in a can, you know, the mixed little vegetables. And a little lettuce, a little salad. I'm trying to curve my um my appetite. I'm in a neighborhood where we ain't got nothing but Jamaican restaurants, you know what I'm saying? And you know, that'd be some shit. I used to live in a neighborhood where it was like, you know, them coochie Fritos, a lot of Spanish people down by Tremont in the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? And they have a whole bunch of the coochie Fritos down there, and you know, they have all that Spanish rice and food and stuff like that. Now I moved uptown in the North Bronx, and um, I'm around a lot of Jamaican restaurants. A couple of soul food restaurants is trying to open up, um, but the Jamaicans got it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and all that curry chicken, all that um, jerk and all that stuff like that. I don't eat so much of that, I'm tired of it. I don't want no more. So then I turn around and do my own thing, and my own thing, my own thing is like fish, frying fish, and, um, Oh, salmon. <clears throat> I used to make the salmon inside the oven, but I bought these new pots and I started making my salmon on top of the stove and butter. And cooking it in butter. And I was like, wow, I could do that. I didn't know I could do that. I put a little broccoli in the pot and put a little um, corn on the cob, break the corn on the cob in half and put the corn on the cob in with the broccoli and put the cover on tight. And just let it cook and steam. Put the salmon in the pot and the, the vegetables in there too. So my thing is, I can't even, you know, cook for myself and lose weight because when I cook, I cook, you know, I cook stuff that I like to eat. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, I don't know if I say I, I cook good because it's not a whole bunch of chopping a whole bunch of stuff up. It's just like basically in butter sauce and, you know fish and, you know, it's good things to eat, but when I make those kind of pots, I put that on all my way, you know what I'm saying, because I can't stop eating when I make, you know, a good dish, you know, I don't make a little bit, <laughs> you know, I make enough, I'll be like, yeah, this gonna last me two days, I'm gonna have leftovers and be saying stuff like that, and end up eating the whole pot, you know, so... I got to stay away from my own cooking. I got to stay away from the Jamaican restaurant, but I got to stay away from my own cooking, too. You know what I'm saying? I got my granddaughter here. When you got kids, you know, when you got kids to cook for, you know, it's tempting you to eat something, too. You know what I'm saying? But you got to, you know, like I said yesterday, Maybe like people that that has, you know, been in the military people, veterans or whatever, you know, being disciplined and stuff. You have to learn a little discipline. And um, you know, you know what your end goal is, you know. My end goal is to get down to 135, 140, and I'm at 215, you know what I'm saying? Well, yesterday I was 214. But I started uh, 220, so I don't know if I lost a lot of water or is this helping um, kill off the fat, you know? Because I don't want to just lose water. I also want to lose the fat. And I want to, you know, start getting flexible, like being able to stretch. This leg I could lift better than this leg. This leg seems like it's such a task, but you don't want to do one side. You want to do both sides 
because you don't want to be uneven. And you want to get a, a kick. A kick. Like you're having a fight. I can't hardly really lift my leg, but we getting there. I can't pull up my pants in the back, so if you see my butt or my drawers, just know I got the gloves on. I can't I can't pull my pants up in the back. So let's work. Stop doing so much talking. Work, 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 work. Better probably if you stand, you know, I'm standing in the front. In the front, you should be doing fast, <coughs> fast punches. <coughs> Floyd Mayweather, I'm coming to fight you. I want to fight a million dollars. We training to fight Floyd Mayweather. Do you fight girls? Or are you scared? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, everybody else, he giving all the white boys uh, the opportunity to fight. Give me an opportunity to make that money. You know, that's what I'm talking about. You gonna whip their ass, you can whip mine too. And so I can get paid. Knocking up against the wall. Disturbing the bugs. We don't want no roaches coming out. I got the um the electric box, the little switch box there.
spread your legs and go sideways. You want it. Get a little twist in there. So celebrity gossip, who's beefing with who? Ah, uh, be careful back there. Pick that up, because those are glass. My granddaughter just knocked over a tea set. And it's the real tea set, glass tea set my sister gave me. something for a virus that comes and uh, make a, a vaccine real quick for that. How about making something to stop the aging process so we could live longer? How about that? Making all these computers and robots and stuff. Can't you come up with a way for people to stop aging? about the stop aging process. Anybody think about that? Well, some people just don't want to be around that long. People just want to be out of here. You can tell how some people act. <laughs> you can tell that some of the things that people do, they don't really want to be around for long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like people that kill other people. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, um, you can't really think, I wouldn't think that God is on my side if I kill somebody, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I would be thinking when, you know, I've been places and been through some stuff with, in my life that I could have ended up there, but with my prayers to God being answered, I'm still around. To this age and for anybody that's like a youth right now before you know it you're gonna be you know like the the clock doesn't stop ticking like they say time be flying it be flying only time it goes slow is when you know you going to um grade school when you're in elementary school and you know you're under your parents instructions and they whooping you behind and you get under punishments, it seems like it's going to take forever to get to 18. But you, you know, most of the time you don't have to wait till 18. Most people be out in the street by 16, you know. 
running away doing their own thing, you know what I'm saying? And the people that's gonna make something of their life, they, they stick it out, they put up with whatever they have to put up with their parents or their guardians in their house, and you know, they go ahead and graduate from high school, get their GED or whatever, and go ahead to college and and, and make a career for themselves or whatever they have to do. You know? It's all about, you know, patience, you know. Because it's hard living in other people's house. They say God bless the child that has his own, you know what I'm saying? So people be wanting to get out of their parents' house and get their own. They don't want nobody to tell them what to do no more, man. Like, I don't want you to tell me to cut the lights out, you know, it's bedtime. No. I, you know. That's why I don't know why guys like to go to jail, but, you know, they do things that they know that's going to land them in jail. Huh? And then you're going to be like, you know, you know they got a routine in there. Oh, it's breakfast. Wake up. It's morning time. You know what I'm saying? Time to get down to breakfast. Time to go to the yard. Time to shower. They tell you when, you know, you're doing everything and all that stuff. TV room time. We're going to do you a favor and give you some snacks. Here's some potato chips. Come on, man. The best part is, um, I guess, them working out. The ones that go in there and work out and get their bodies together. Or the ones that go in there and... Um, Learn to read and write and get an education <laughs> and learn a trade or something. Because they're not going to do their they schoolwork out here. There's too many other guys distracting them or, you know, going to be looking at them like they corny. Oh, you going to school, man? <laughs> you going to college? Oh, man, we out here getting our money. We already got a pocket full of money. Knowing that they're going to be in jail or dead soon. And if you just take your time and go to school and get your education and stay, stay out the streets. Because, you know, the guys that look like, you know, they're going to be successful in college or successful at a sport. Every time they come back to their hood to see their friends, they get killed, you know. Oh, he, he was... Uh, he had a successful career. He was going to be a ball player, you know. He was going to be playing football, and he went back to his hood, you know. Don't go back to your hood. If, you know, your family need to see you. Let them come with, travel where you at, you know. Because people be waiting to, you know, bust your bubble, you know, to mess up your, you know, mess up your rhythm, you know. Or destroy your plans altogether, you know? Because no matter how successful you are in life, once you come down to the hood, you in the hands of uh, the, the street dudes, you know, the street thugs, you know? Now you're on their turf, you know what I'm saying? So you don't, you know, you don't want to be looked at as a punk. You're not a punk. Uh, you might not be a punk. You might be strong. You might can fight. <laughs> but you ain't got to prove that to nobody. Just because you're strong and you can fight doesn't mean that you have to go to the street, you know, and show somebody, you know, and have fights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Unless you are defending yourself, you know, then you yeah. You know, if it's a situation where you have to defend yourself, yeah, but you don't have to come outside to show off. And then when you uh, knock a nigga out, then he come back with a gun and be like, wait right here, I'll be right back. And then he come back with a gun and shoot you. I seen something, um, I don't know who made this post, but I see um, T.I. posted it. And it was basically saying to the guys, you know, it's all right if you never caught a body, you know what I'm saying? 
like, what is this post? And I kept reading it. It's all right if you never sold the drug. You know, it was like everything was like saying that it's okay if you didn't do the thing, things that the street dudes did. Because everybody coming up trying to be a rapper saying, you know, oh, they already caught bodies. They was in the trap house, selling drugs and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? But there's a post on Instagram that a lot of the celebrities are, um, you know, putting on their timeline. And it's basically saying that it's okay that, and it sounds crazy because one of the first sentences was, it's okay if you don't have a body. So you mean to tell me that niggas is out here trying to kill people just so that they could come back and say they, they, they caught a body, that they killed somebody? Now, you might get away with it from the no snitching thing, but then you got to think about it. There's a lot of cameras out here. You know what I'm saying? So you might even caught a body, but then you got to go and probably do 25 to life in jail. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to be out here walking around like, yeah, I caught a body. Get out my way. Watch out my way. I'm coming down the street. And, you know, it's not going to be like that. And then any time you take the title and, and run with it like you're the main nigga, somebody else, you know, wants to come and... um take your position, you know what I'm saying? So if you're the main killer, somebody else going to come kill you, and he's going to be the man, you know what I'm saying? If you're the main drug dealer, somebody else going to show that they could, you know, kill you and take your block, you know what I'm saying? So it doesn't, it just, it's not paying off, not for enough, enough people. It's not. It's a temporary excuse where, you know, well, I had to do what I had to do because, you know, I got kids and I had to put food on the table. I had to bring money home. I got tired of, you know, putting in applications and trying to get a job and uh, uploading my resume on Indeed and all of them um, work uh, job sites. And, you know, every time I throw my, you know, my resume and apply to a job, nothing ever comes through. And I mean, that's understandable too, you know what I'm saying? You got to get out there and get your papers. But there's legal ways to hustle. You can get a mop in a bucket and go see who needs uh, cleaning of their house or their office or their business cleaned up. You know what I'm saying? And that doesn't take nothing but a mop in a bucket. Maybe a pair of gloves and an all-purpose cleaning solution. And if they need any more equipment other than that, you can rent it and charge them. And let them know what you're going to be needing, the equipment, how much it's going to cost to rent. Add that to your price. And you in business. You can start a cleaning business. It's actually harder to sell drugs because let's see what it takes to sell drugs. You gotta go meet with your connect, right? And you don't know if that's gonna be like a setup. He gonna take your money, they gonna take your money and kill you and rob you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just that transaction right there. You know, then once you get your stuff and you be like, okay, I paid for my package, I got my package, I'm going to go home and package up my package, right? <laughs> Just traveling from the spot where you picked up your package to your destination where you're going to be packaging up these drugs for the streets. you got to be worried that, oh, the police, you don't pull me over, you know, or somebody didn't snitch on me. Um... You didn't tell nobody where you was going and when you was doing it because the next the next dude to uh, snitch on you, you know, if he got a case, you know, if he got a case pending ready to go to trial, you know, they could snitch on somebody else, somebody else's criminal activity <laughs> so that they could go free, you know what I'm saying? 
So there's so much to watch out for. Then you gotta watch out for the stick up kids. Oh, who seen me just meet with the with the you know with the connect? Who might run up on me? You know what I'm saying? And steal my baggage from me. You know what I'm saying? It's just like it's too much. <laughs> then when you go in your house, even if you do get the work, you know, package up and get to the streets. You know, you give giving out packages to your little underdogs, to your little street guys, and little hook out. Look out, um, look out people in the street, you know, you know, look out, they be looking out for the police, let you know when the police is around. And then you got to worry about them junkies that smoke up your whole package and come back with an excuse to you that they got robbed. <laughs> So they don't bring you no money back and they be expecting another package. And then um, another thing a lot of them make mistakes with is a lot of the junkies, they tell the junkies, I ain't got nothing right now. I'm getting ready to be up in the morning. And the junkie be like, what time in the morning? Seven o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So the junkie... Uh, probably for the case and trying to uh, get off their cases or being fed by, you know, the police that's trying to bust you. And then they go back and tell the police that, you know, you said you got a, a re-up coming at 7 o'clock in the morning. So what happens? Does the junkie come back at 7 o'clock in the morning? No. The police come. And you got a whole fresh... Uh, re up. <laughs> it's just too much. By that time, you could have just opened up a business. You could open up a, a DBA, doing business as business certificate for like a hundred and something dollars. You could open an LLC for like two and ten. Like this is nothing to get an incorporation started. The hard part is to build a strong foundation. You know what I'm saying? That your business is not gonna fold or you know, getting the financing or selling your product, you know, or, you know, pulling in the clients, you know, like for me, it's pulling in clients, getting listings with the real estate, you know. And I, I just come to terms to realize, even though I'm a real estate broker, now I have to, um, I got to get my mortgage originated license. So, you know, I can understand the, the mortgage and the packages fully for, you know, my clients and, and who, whomever else uh, want to get some financing. Whew. I'm not really going hard because, it's you know, it's Christmas. I'm already sore. Um... This is only the fourth day, but we moving. We making progress. We're not eating no meats. We're not eating no heavy meals. We're curbing our diet. We're not seeing no drastic weight loss, but it's basically like um, this daily thing for me is like, you have to let your body know what you are doing. Once your body knows what you're trying to do, it'll it'll start doing it for you. You know what I'm saying? Because if you have or uh, do like a starvation diet or you stop eating uh, meats and stuff like that, then your body be like storing what you have already there and it won't let that fat go because it's, it's storing because you stop eating. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want my body to store and I want my body to know that I'm not trying to store. I'm trying to let it go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not starving because there's no food. <laughs> I'm, I'm lessening my, my food intake because I'm trying to lose weight. You know what I'm saying? So once you stay active every day, 
you kind of like talking to your body, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, she working. You know what I'm saying? This is not about. This is about. Um, she trying to get her muscles up toned. She trying to exert, you know, energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she doing sit ups. She just trying to uh, strengthen the, the the stomach muscles and get a six pack or whatever. You know. Eventually, your, your body's gonna know what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna, it's gonna pick up on it. But if you um, work out one day a week or two days a week and you be back to eating and laying around, your body not gonna understand that, you know, you're serious about this. You're trying to, you're trying to change your whole um, image. So look, take a good look at me right now. And I keep saying it, because it's not going to be no gimmick. You see this stomach right here, this pot belly look like I'm pregnant. Okay? And when this thing is all tight and flat, I'm going to have the video proof that. I started working out, and I'm counting the days. Day one, day two, day three, day four. I'm doing it that way to help me stay committed because if I just be sitting around the house like, yeah, I'm gonna work out and keep it to myself and try to do it by myself, I might not, I might not be able to do it. But if I record myself, and I commit on YouTube, uploading videos every day. Every day I'm looking forward to putting in a hour. No matter how light I work or how hard I work, as long as we doing something, as long as we moving. But along with this, don't eat that much. <laughs> the salad. Change your eating habits. Stop eating all that rice. Fried rice, uh, Chinese rice, Jamaican got rice, um, Spanish food, you got rice and beans and all, all that shit. And then like I said yesterday, the chicken. <laughs> they inject chickens with uh, stuff to make the chickens fat grow fast and, and fat. And so this is why we look the way we look because we eat in that stuff, you know. And what change what what's the what's the difference? Like when you say I'm going down to Midtown Manhattan, what 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 how do you look different from the you know, the white executive people that's walking with their briefcases and their bags and their suits. They look nice and neat and good shape and slender. And then you come up to the hood and stuff and everybody's all fat and walking lopsided and walking with canes and stuff like that. So, you know, you just got to take a look at the image that you need to have for corporate, you know. Mainly if you want to get a better job, you go for a resume, you go for a job, right? Go for a job interview. And before you sit down and, and pull out your resume or talk or do anything, your whole image is going to, they're going to know whether that image is what they want for that position. So, first of all, you got to walk in looking decent. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying just, just slim, fit people get jobs because, um, You have everything in the workplace, but you want to look the part that you, you know, of the job that you want and the money that you want. So we're going to get into buying some suits and buying some, uh, and showing some executive looks, you know?
because I'm a real estate broker. That's what I'm supposed to be doing anyway. So I might as well take y'all on a journey with me. And I'm going to be doing mortgages. So I'm getting ready to take this hard test. Become a mortgage uh, loan officer or originator. It's a hard test. 125 questions. So we got about five minutes left to go. And um, I just want to say Merry Christmas to all y'all. Kids going to be opening up gifts or um, gathering with your families and having a meal. Some people is like not doing all that because of coronavirus. So, you know, like me, I'm staying in. Grandbaby's here. She got her gifts back there. And... Um, that, that's going to be it, you know. And I met with my sister, my, and my daughter. We done exchanged gifts. And tomorrow, it's just going to be about relaxing, you know. It's going to be about relaxing. Uh, but I am going to do the workout tomorrow. Tomorrow's Christmas. Happy uh, Christmas Eve. And don't worry about if uh, you didn't get like a real good Christmas gift because they late with these stimulus checks. They, 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 they late getting these deals together. So anyway, most of the sales, you know, if you know anything about Christmas, you know, in these holidays, they be having the sales after the holiday. Soon as uh, the 26th come, everything is going on sale. And you go back in the store and everything that you done purchased uh, before Christmas is on sale. So. so, you know, you can save some of your money for after Christmas and see what sales is. Let's see what sales is going. And like I said, if you don't have the heavy bag, you know, equipment, you can shadow box. Twist your, your waist, spread your feet, and twist, twist your waist. Make sure you take a hot steamy bath and get all the sweat out. It's just a heavy bag, it's so much more funny. I could do this forever. If I stand here and do this forever. Twist my waist. Eventually, I'm gonna have a good body. Okay, so we're getting down to our last minute. Oh. That was good enough. That was good enough. Okay. We got to our last minute. Don't forget, get one of these. I didn't even know. But it helps you do sit-ups. It's one of these resistant things. And you step on it with your feet so it's not going nowhere. And that should help the midsection. Okay, so Merry Christmas to everybody. You want to say Merry Christmas? It's my grandbaby. Say Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Say bye. Bye. Out. All right, y'all. I just got a couple of seconds left.
And we're going to enjoy the evening. Peace. I'm out.